Hi everyone. This uh, this is second lecture of uh, second part of uh, the lecture nine, the polygonal operation. So, uh, in last class we learned uh, the scissoring and the purpose, the depth purpose and stencil purpose and color purpose. And then we will learn uh, next the polygonal operation. It is calling. Calling is somewhat, uh, it is not a part of performance operation, but it is very important operation for performance of uh, graphics rendering. It is because if we, we use calling efficiently, then we can reduce, we can reduce the half of triangle, we don't have to draw it. So, we can achieve the, the two times faster performance with using, with proper using of curling. Okay, so first to understand curling, the, we need to define the which one is the direction of orientation of triangle. The curling is only work, working for the triangle primitive, so it is not working on. Uh, points and lines because th they don't have a front and back. Okay, I make um, I made uh, some simple, very simple triangle. Can you see that? Okay, okay. It this triangle is has of course it has a three vertex one, two, three. Okay, so it has. Uh, the, when we are drawing with uh, the the, pri the triangle primitive, we will use draw arrays or draw elements. Anyway, the, they they should uh, has order of uh, triangle. Okay, for example, we will draw with one two three triangle with this order one two three. Then we can say that okay. It is so. It this so orientation is somewhat like this. One, two, three. So we can use this right hand. Then it goes to this direction. Okay, it goes to this direction. If we use left hand, then it goes to the backward direction. Okay, so so we in in triangle. With order of vertex, we can we can we can decide that the orientation of of triangle vertexes. Okay, then the, we need first thing we need to define what is front face. Okay, what is front face? <laughs> so, okay, if we define a triangle with this shape. Then there is kind of a back pace. Okay, I will say, I will say it is front, it is back. Okay, then this triangle is front face. This triangle is back pace. Okay. Same triangle defined with the same three vertexes, but it has different shape, front face, back face. How can you define it? If we define, okay, front face is, front face is, okay, if it is clock, counterclockwise or clockwise, okay, it looks like a counterclockwise, okay? We say that, oh yeah, if it is rotating like a counterclockwise, that is front pace, okay, it is default setting. When we have transformation, when we apply transformation in this triangle, then this triangle will be rotated like this, then the same order, one, two, three vertex. So it looks like a different direction. It is clockwise. So. If vertex order like order is like this, this one, 
clockwise, then it is back pace. Back pace. Okay. So oh, it is very easy. If if is a vertex order is the counterclockwise, then it is it is front pace. If we rotate with with respect to with about to to your camera, if if it is rotated, then naturally it became back pace, front pace, back pace. Okay, then. We can define it. Curling is is removing. Okay, don't draw. Okay, meaning is the 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 word meaning of curl is that some kind of eliminate. So curl phase is if we if we will want to if if we turn on the then we can achieve GL back pace is removed. Okay. So the back pace does not drawn, will not be drawn. Okay, and front pace only front pace is drawn. And we can also the the, the remove the front pace and back pace also. Then it means I think it but it is very useless thing, but it is so it is removing the everything. So the how can you turn on the calling with curl pace? With just just the, the API, the enable curl phase, then we can turn on the calling. Okay. Then I will explain that why it it, it will be used for two times faster perform. We can get a two times faster performance. Okay. Look at this cube. Okay. Let's assume that so we we draw some geometric. We we draw some model. Is it is uh, it is crossed uh, the cross geometry? Then, it for example in this uh, box, they have twelve triangles, and then all triangles is drawn with like this. So, if if these triangles has some kind of orientation, for example, all triangles vertex is ordered with counterclockwise like this like this like this then 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 if this triangle became the clockwise it means that it goes to this direction it means that it means that it hid hide from other surface because it is it is it is solid. It's kind of a perfect cross the geometry. Then this with these two triangles, then then this back pace will not drawn. Okay, so it means that there is okay in camera view you can see twi uh, six maybe one two three four five six maybe. You can and maximum you can see six triangles, but it rotated to other direction. Then we don't have to draw it because it is, it is, it is that pace. Those paces are turning to against the camera you watch. Okay, against your eye or your camera. So we don't have to draw it. Then. We don't. If we don't have to draw these six faces, then we can eliminate it. Then the processing of the triangle is just the six. Before we are turn on curling, we need to process twelve triangles. But but now we can only we need just the, the six triangle processing is enough to, to visualizing this box. So. You can eliminate from from after calling test. After calling test, we can eliminate something, so we can achieve the better performance. Okay, so I will show you how can we turn on the calling, and what is the how can you control that? Okay, okay. In last class, the we tested the scissoring. So, okay. It looks like scissored. Yeah. 
rectangle is the limit the visible area okay so we could I will turn off scissoring okay so I'll make it command then this code will be moved here then then I will uh, turn on a curve face okay okay Okay, I will copy it, and then I will, okay, before I turn on that, I will test the code, okay, reload it, okay, so, yeah, this, this is original drawing, so, okay, before that, you should know that we, we already turn on very, very, very sp um, important the, the, curve, the, Pregnant operation. So we enable depth test. It, it is because we turn on the, the, the depth test. It looks like uh, correct. It looks like, uh, it looks like box. So it is because we turned on the depth test. Okay. If we turn off this depth test, then, then it will be very strange. Okay, reload it. Oh, it looks looks like very strange. Oh yeah, it is inside or outside or something very strange. So before the, I before I explaining the jet buffer and depth testing. So, but we will turn on. Uh, we will test with the the, the depth test turning on. Okay, so reload it. Okay. Okay, it works well. It works well. Okay. Then I will enable enable Jion call face. face. Then let's check the result. I turned on curling. Oh it's very strange okay to our animation it it some faces are eliminated okay can you see that some faces are eliminated okay so there are so many faces so i will reduce the the number of drawings okay in in first uh, uh, in in first the drawing is back back page it means that jet is 0 0.5 oh yeah minus 0 0.5 i think it is wrong it is back face okay i will draw just a two triangle with with uh yeah where is drawing okay i'll change it where's drawing yeah there is i will draw just the two triangle with changing the to value then I will draw twice then result will be not shown okay total animation something very strange but it appears but it if it is back face it is correct okay I will reload it if it's back page, it means that this, this, for example, T1, T2, we draw with two triangles, but start point is in here, so it should not disappear. It should dis display like this. So, yeah, it, maybe it is correct. Maybe it is correct. So, let's see the, the the, the the vertex data okay let's check the the, the 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 orientation if it is back pace with with minus zero minus zero minus five minus zero point five minus zero point five and next vertex is 
zero point five and zero point five. Is it correct? Yeah, it goes to. I think it goes to this direction, and then, and then diagonally, and then the third. Okay, I will show you here. Second, third is zero point five and and minus zero point five. It goes in here, this direction. This direction. So it is. It looks like. Uh, it looks like uh, uh, the the clockwise coordinate, clockwise coordinate, and then T two is if it is goes to it goes to going up and and going going right no. Minus zero point yeah in starting here and going up here and then going here. So it is all two polygon is is look like the clockwise. Two two triangle is the clockwise. Okay. Then I I will change the order. Okay. So if two if there is two triangle but I will change the orientation. The one and it goes to diagonally and then and then it goes to this direction then it is it is clockwise and t2 is counterclockwise okay let's i accept and then test it animation okay oh wait okay Okay, I will check. It goes to this direction and then this direction and then goes to this direction is counterclockwise. Back pace is vertex data is in here, diagonal, and then go to this direction. So it is clockwise. And I saved it and then reload it. Oh sorry. Oh, something strange. So if we change the, 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 the orientation of some paces, then we can just, we can see only half part. Something very strange. That, that part, this part, that part, this part is this, is displayed. Something very confusing. Okay. So we need to, we need to set correct orientation all together all together so all faces must have the in consistent the consistent or consistent orientation should have okay so i'll change the it ori original format i think that all faces are all faces are drawn with this thing so I will change it to okay. I I will change the drawing function with the thirty six. It means I will draw twelve twelve triangles, and then reload it. Then I okay. Let's check it. But it looks like very strange. It it is. We need to modify it. Is some some data is some. Some polygon, uh, some triangle is the clockwise. Some triangle is not clock counterclockwise. -clock something wrong. Okay, we need to we need to change it into consistent order. Okay, so I will do that. I will I will fix it. I'll fix it. So so and then I will edit the, this part with very quickly. Okay. So, you should you modify your code too. You already submitted your uh, drawing, drawing cube, uh, homework, but you need to change it to 
to make it correct to correct uh, the orientation so I will do that okay I will make consistent consistent counterclockwise counterclockwise okay then if it is uh, okay mm -hmm. okay it is so, so in case of that the, the, it should be changed into okay Now I made the correct orientation. All triangles is counterclockwise. In a view of outside of box, you can see that the all vertex order is counterclockwise. Okay, so uh, we can we can we can achieve that. Uh, this is a correct drawing, but in. If we in render scene we enable the curve face, so it is, it is, yeah. So the after the after the so after curling pay, curve face testing, then the half of uh, triangles is disappeared. Okay, so then in a view of a pipeline, when does it? When when does it possible to process a calling test? Okay, I show you. The okay, calling test is in here, so in 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 uh, pipeline. How can you do that? Of course, it is possible on after vertex shader. It is because the in vertex shader we send the view transformation, projective transformation, and model transformation. Is at the result is the the result of vertex shader is the result of rotating and camera motion and something. So we can decide that this triangle is counterclockwise or clockwise, counterclockwise, clockwise. It it can be defined. It can be defined in after the vertex shader. So somewhere in in this area, then there will be some kind of calling test. So calling test after calling test, then the, if calling test failed, then we don't have to process polymorphic shader or polymorphic operation. So we don't, of course, we don't have to write it the result to the plane buffer because it is not drawn. Okay. So okay. In curling, in curling, there is a, some kind of, we can set parameter what is front face and what is curl face. The default is counterclockwise is front face, and then, and then, the GL back is the calling face. Okay, then let's change it. Let's change it. Okay, if if we turn on uh, the the it, turn on uh, calling, and then we can, okay, GL dot, okay, call face. Let's change it okay let's first we will test with the front face front face is default is uh, clockwise but i will change it it into the counterclockwise default is counterclockwise i will change it into clockwise gear should i write gear or just gear just g, g, g w okay let's test it then I wrote it and then reload it. Uh oh, I think th there is some kind of error. Yeah, error, of course. Not GL, and it is GL dot GL dot 
count uh, clockwise. I, I changed it clockwise. Then we load it. Then it is very strange feeling. Okay, what is this? Oh, look at that. That looks like uh, we are looking inside our box. Okay. Can you, can you see that? We are looking inside our box. I mean, let's think about it. Okay, if, if, if we change the, 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 the orientation of drawing, then before we change the, the, the front face with, with counterclockwise, this triangle will be displayed. But we change the, the, the opposite direction, then this is not di displayed, and then the inside triangle is displayed. So, okay, okay. If we want to define, okay, we can we can define it is kind of as a kind of a, some uh what do you, how can you say if we can define it like this okay so we can define some kind of a geometry with if it is the the the, the in surface there is some kind of orientation default orientation counterclockwise then the with light hand counterclockwise it means that light hand it is direction of normal vector of this surface then it means that outside of this geometry okay outside of geometry then if we define it as a, some kind of like this then it is it it is this area is outside of uh, outside of geometry so we can make whole or we can make it uh, we can make it some kind of a so hold the shape or we can make donut donut shaped geometry or that thing is possible okay for example in post script in post script okay we can define outside and inside with with like this for example we can define move to line to line to close the path that's one that's one okay one box or something and then you can def and move to line to line to line to cross pass okay in this box is the so rotation orientation is counterclockwise this box is rotating like this, the, the opposite direction, clockwise. Then if we define the shape with these two box, then we order the fill with the blue color, then it feels like this, okay? So, for example, I want to define some box, okay? And then, and then, I want to define the box, there, there is some kind of a, inside, inside the box, there is some box shape the hole there is. Can you, can you imagine that? Like this. Then, then, this triangle must have, for example, in default, the counterclockwise direction, and then this direct, this triangle is, you know, oh, let's think about it. This is area is empty, and this area inside the box is the pool. Then the the, the orientation means with the light hand, with the light hand, it pointing the the empty area. Okay, empty area. So if there is some triangle in here, it should be pointing this direction to pull empty. Okay, opposite direction is full. This, this, this direction is full and this direction is empty. So we can define the box. The, in, inside of the box, there is a small hole. 
then we can define with with this uh, shape with with this triangle direction okay this is not easy but we can define it okay so the the face orientation is very important to defining the shape of shape of the geometry okay okay let's go to the next topic is a hidden surface removal okay L let's assume that we should draw three objects a b c so maybe the b c is a two, two, two triangle object okay like this and then of course we expect that this result because the camera or eye is in here so a is near near the camera and next the b the next is c so a is top visual visibility and then the b and c is will be hidden by a the surface in front of uh in front of the that's ob that's object so we call that so we need to eliminate hidden surface so we call it hidden surface removal okay in OpenGL and WebGL, the OpenGL ES, the most of uh, the, the modern GPU use jet buffer or Z buffer algorithm to for hidden surface removal method. Okay, so they use jet buffer algorithm. I'll ex explain the, how the, the Z buffer algorithm is works. Let's assume that so we draw a the, with the order of a b c a b c order okay so in first stage we need to, we need to remove all component all pixel of g buffer g buffer algorithm of course we need g buffer it, it is kind of a memory that it is it has a same resolution with color buffer so if if we uh, we use the canvas size with 800 by 600 the the color buffer then g buffer size also same as 800 by 600 in each pixel has at least at least 16 bits okay of course, in color buffer, at least R, G, B, A, each uh, color component has 8 bits, so it mo less more than 32 bit data is required for color buffer. In G buffer, in at minimum the 16 bit per pixel, and then it it is in first stage the clear clear whole G buffer with far value. Okay, in default, there's a near plane and par plane. So par plane is jet value is 1.0. So near plane is 0, 0.0 in default. So all buffer is cleared with 1.0. Okay. Okay. I will, I will use the much bigger screen to explain it. Okay. Okay, there is A, B, C, okay, then A, B, C, okay, then first, first step, the whole buffer is cleared is 1.0, okay, then when I draw A, maybe A will display it in here, okay, so they calculate the jet value of each pixel of A. For example, in fragment, in fragment, jet value is maybe 0 0.4. Let's assume that B, ha B object has 0 0.6, C object has 0 0.8. Then, the A has, when I test it with this pixel, the, the value, jet value is 0 0.4. So it is much less than 1.0. 
Then we update gbuffer with 0.4. Okay, so and all pixel do, do it again and again, and all pixel is updated to, with with 0.4. Okay, all pixel in in here will be changed in into 0.5. And then let's assume that led B. So we'll draw B in here, okay, in here, like this. Then when we calculating this area, this pixel, it it has a, the in jet buffer. Jet value is zero point four already, but it is. It is. But the B object has jet value 0 0.6. The 0 0.6 is bigger than 0 0.4. Then it skipped. Skip. But in case of in here, the 0 0.6 is, the 0 0.6 is smaller than 1.0, then it is updated with 0 0.6. So we can draw this area because this area is skipped and this area is not skipped and jet value of G for it will be updated with 0 0.6. In next step, so the step is drawing C. So C, let's draw with green color and then green color C will be displayed in here and then, then jet value is 0 0.8. So 0, 0.8 is smaller than 1.0. This area will be updated, but 0.8 is uh, bigger than 0.6. This this area or this area will not update it. Okay. Let's think about that. A A2. We 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 want to draw some small small black object in here in between A and B. Then we'll draw A and B has it it has jet value with 0 0.5. Then naturally in 0 0.4 area it, it, it will be automatically skipped and then in the area of 0 0.6 it will be drawn. Okay? And and the GBUP value will be updated in 0 0.5 and 0 0.5. This area that value will be changed in 0 0.5. Okay, then who calculate uh, this jet value? Oh, yeah, in in per fragment operation, I'll show you. In per fragment operation, let's go to pipeline. Yes, in per fragment operation, then we calculate jet jet value with divide with uh, the homogeneous coordinate with W coordinate. Then that jet that jet value will be changed into to zero to one point zero. Maybe it is possible to bigger than one point zero and less than one one zero point. But it is it is it, is, it will be cramped to zero or it will be all uh, the bigger than one point zero. It will be cramped to one point zero. So the the jet value will have zero point one zero point zero to 1.0 okay okay then uh let's learn the how to set a depth test so in we can enable or disable depth test with enable disable api and then we can define the depth function i explained that in 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 normal gbop algorithm so when you're drawing something, so if the, the original G jet value is uh, smaller th th than, 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 than I drawing it, so it will be skipped, and then it is bigger than my jet value, then jet value will be updated with a smaller value. So it is because the, it is because we, we are doing some current jet value and an all existing jet value in buffer, so we need some kind of calculation. We need some kind of relational operator is working on this computation. So default uh, function is less. So if 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 the, the new value is smaller than existing value, then it will be updated. So 
but we can change it with the, the other equations. For example, less than equal or greater, greater equal and not equal, never, always. So always means that new drawing is always changed into into g buffer value is changed into new drawing. Okay, so never means that the old drawing is. Uh, with, without the, the related to jet value, it is drawn with the down area. Okay, so okay, and there is another function for related depth is depth range. I said that the, in viewing plus term, the near plane will be set to change it into 0, 0.0, and then the power plane will be changed into 1.0 depth value, but. As, as, so we can uh, the, the scaling mapping with some small area, for example, zero point four to zero point six. So some, sometimes this kind of thing is needed for the multipath drawing. So I want to draw this set, and then I want to draw that this set. But it is it has different coordinate system. But I hope to to manage it, and in, it it should be merged into one scene then I need to this function, okay? So, okay. And then, um, before the, we use depth buffer, we need to clear depth buffer in first stage. Okay, let's test it with, with uh, the, the code. Okay, first I will disable the, the calling, and then I will test it, okay? So, then we can see the, the original result. Okay, so it is. So it looks like automatically depth is uh, depth is hidden surface is automatically removed. Okay, and then I will disable depth test. Okay, then let's see the result. Okay, yeah, it looks very strange. And uh, it is not inside or it is not outside. It, it, it just depends on the, the drawing order. So, so we, we cannot see the, the what kind of shape it is. So we need, basically we need zebra uh, testing. Okay, so I will enable, okay, zebra testing. And then how to use it. Okay, we, we see that so G, we set, we set clear depths. Okay, clear depths is used for clearing the buffer. So I will clear with 1.0. Then when I call clear function, then I ordered to clear color buffer and depth buffer too. Okay, then the, the, the depth buffer will be cleared with value with 1.0. Okay. And then we turn on the, the depth test. Of course, it is possible to change the, the GL depth function, depth function with, uh, in generally, in, in default, it is less than, but I will change it. It is changed a uh, greater. Okay. Then Let's see the result, okay? Load it. Then, oh, it does not appear. Why? Think about it. Yeah, it is because we, we cleared with 1.0, then in, in, only in case of a, it is greater than it will be, it will be dis displayed. But the old value is uh, is smaller than 1.0, so to show the result, we change it into clear with zero, and then we can test it. Okay, reload it. Oh, it looks like uh, very strange, but this very opposite image of. A, it is very hard to understand it, it, to to. So we we reverse the, the depth function or something. So okay, but 
we can achieve these things by changing the uh, function okay and then we will back to less and then we need to change clear value with 1.0 and then reload it okay so yes can get yeah it's result okay and there's another things I think you see that if we uh, you see that this kind of uh, the phenomenon in game or oh we see that so we draw so much things in with redundantly then this thing is appears so we call it uh, the jet fight jet fight so it is because the two surfaces has very very uh, very similar jet value then it is not it is not easy to calculate which pixel is front which pixel is left back so in that case in that case the 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 the, 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 the pixel is blinking so sometimes it is very annoying thing in in rendering so uh, sometimes we, we can avoid this problem by, for example, if we so if we draw in dual, dual will, we if we add some offset, offset value or some unit, we add offset value, then polygon offset we can set the the polygon offset with the polygon offset API, then. New, new value new value will be will have some slightly different uh, offset value then it will be clearly appeared in this uh, thing okay so so it is very useful for when the, the jet fight is occurred in rendering okay okay I made some jet fight jet fight case with the out with changing the some kind of a translation coordinate with the the there are two cube two cube is drawn so the the one cube is in it is one cube is in center and I will translate only x direction 0 0.4 then okay result result looks good but if we rotate it there is some kind of numerical error is occurred then there will be jet fight is occurred in this case okay so so to to solve this problem we can add the polygon offset by the enabling the polygon offset field so i will just try to add the polygon offset okay in here so people just to drawing something so you okay I will turn on uh, okay in 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 early stage of uh, enabling depth test and then polygon yeah, offset fail okay then I did not set uh, the polygon offset value but I just uh, changed uh, just uh, enabling the pol polygon offset peel then write it and then reload it okay then I'll test it again but there is a still have it okay then we can set the value of uh, the offset so I will change it okay gl dot okay polygon polygon offset that with a factor and unit okay I will put 0 0.1 0 0.1 I don't know how to use it but maybe it will be very big value so write it and then load it test it again but there are still I will check the code there's no error 
Yes, it does not work. So it is because the the this two the polygon offset in uh, in enabling is drawing two polygon. Uh, box is drawing with the, the polygon offset pill. The same the problem is occurred in with the same problem. Okay, so I will copy it, and we need to, in first stage we disable it, and then we move the, uh, this two line into when you are drawing drawing second uh, second box. We turn on the polygon offset fill, then we can get good result. Okay, so the first first drawing is not the applied the, the polygon offset fill, but the second draw the box will will fill drawing will be drawing drawn with the polygon offset fill. Okay, then I save it and then reload it. And then let's see the result. Okay, it looks very clean. Okay, so the the the, the, the problem is disappeared. But the problem is we set the the, the artificial jet value is added. So be careful. So we, it is it is possible to use it this function in when we know exactly the what the what is displayed, what is not displayed. Okay. So what is I want to draw it the if it is very similar area, but I want to draw it this hand first. So I want to draw it explicitly I want to draw this one. So that decision is made in, then it is possible to use this function. Be careful that if jet value is the new calculation with offsetting, then but the the G buffer update with with the original value, not delta ID the value. So I'll show you one more example. Okay. So you can see that the we draw two boxes and original box is appeared and then the, the and the next box is not appeared okay second box is not appeared and then i want to change it into into second box is appeared and first box is not appeared partially appeared then think about it how can we do it so it is because we can change it into some some offset value so Offset is changing the jet value, so we add the more value than it. It, it think that it is the, the backside, so I will change it into minus. Then I rotate it, like it. And look at that. It's the so first box and second box, and I reload it. And still, first box is looks here, but in case oh yeah it is changed the second box appeared okay it is very very the useful thing to we can decide which one is displayed or which one is not displayed i finished today's uh class so the the the, the lecture nine is divided into three part a b c in next class we will learn Extension and blending. It is very important thing. Okay, so see you next time. Bye